September Fest, yay! And I decided to start my trip around September Fest with Mackenzie Brewing because I've never seen Mackenzie here. This is Mackenzie's Unforgivable Darkness, and as you can see, it is bloody well dark. That's because it's a CDA. It comes in at 7%. And boy, lovely chocolate aromas. And what a deep, dark, rich taste. This borders on dessert, except there's lots and lots of hops in it, like we really like the CDAs. So, if you like the dark, and you want something that's a little thinner than a stout, or a little less robust than a porter, this CDA is going to have plenty of hops for you, and the richness that really satisfies the taste buds. Well so guys, on to the next. Nectar Creek came out with Nectarade. This is for the lemon and lime fans. Remember, this is mead, or as you may know it, honey wine. And it kind of looks like lemonade. It's unfiltered, 7%, not to the face of heart. It smells more like lemon than lime. lemonade this is it this is this is my tongue is curling up <laughs> I don't think I've ever had anything quite this tart from Nectar Creek if you want lemonade this is definitely lemonade um, it's got some reminiscent sugars in there and the lime comes out far more through the end of the taste than in the beginning of the taste and there's, there's just lots and lots of lemon in the aroma. Mm. Oh, you should totally drink this. Good. A hamburger. <laughs> this is Pulp Action. This is a 7.8% juicy fresh hop IPA from Flat Tail. Wow, oh, that aroma is slightly dank and just so just shoving hops through my nose up into my brain. <laughs> oh yeah, lots and lots of those lovely grassy and lemony flavors that I like from the hops themselves. I believe this only came out, this, this was actually first introduced about February, but this is definitely using fresh, fresh hops that had to have been just picked. And it's so juicy, it's, it's like you took a juicer and put hops into it and just squeezed them out right into the glass. I am so happy. Thank you so much, Flat Tail. This is fantastic. This is the Oktoberfest challenge, guys, and today I'm going to pit Mazama against Ninkasi. And yes, I absolutely believe this is fair because Mazama and Ninkasi have hit epic heights with a lot of their peers. This classic. Mazama obviously has a darker, more classic look. It also has a much more sugary aroma to it. Ninkasi is paler and it, it doesn't have an enormous aroma to it, but it does have a, a slight graininess in the aroma. And there's the malt is pretty hoppy. But 
But it is very smooth, smooth drinking. But it's definitely got lots and lots of flavor in it. Ninkasi has more hops, which I would expect of Ninkasi. Ninkasi knows how to use their hops. There's a lot more carbonation in this. And it definitely tastes a lot more grainy. Mazama definitely hits it to the classic taste. But if you like more hops in your Oktoberfest, this is what you're going to go for. Altogether, I would have to lean towards Mazama if I'm going for a classic Oktoberfest cake. Great job. This is Mazama's turmeric saison. It's called Goldilocks. And for good reason, it's got a beautiful gold color to it. It's, it's not tart. The aroma almost just, almost a vinegary aroma, but not quite. Mm. Super savory. Very savory. Very much turmeric, but tempered by the malt and the hops used to make the saison. And definitely a farmhouse. It's got that classic farmhouse taste to it with a, a tiny little overlay of banana. Really refreshing. This is really something I enjoy. This is Rusty Truck's Moon Shadow. This is a blood orange lager. Oh, it's got an absolutely lovely citrus aroma to it. And an absolutely delicious, refreshing citrus taste to it, which belies its color. Really dark, isn't it? You'd expect a dark, roasty flavor, but no, it's pretty really refreshing. It's, pretty, it's very light. It's very much a lager. Great job, Rusty Truck. Conversion Brewing is a brewery I have not yet had the opportunity to try. So today I decided to win this. This is a Bavarian beef. Not quite sure what to expect. Sure smells like, and definitely with those, the overtones of banana that we know and love from Bavarian beers. Oh wow, this is, it's soft, it's sweet, it's got banana and just the bare hint of clove. This is definitely a great drinkable beer. You could drink this whole thing and be okay at four and a half percent. Look for it. Belfry from Conversion Brewing, unlike Witness, this is a nine and a half percent beer, so be very careful. This is this is a Belgian triple. Mm. It's actually pretty thick, thick, rich, definitely unfiltered. It doesn't have a whole lot of banana in it. It tastes a little orangey, a, a, a bit like uh, unfiltered orange juice, but a little lighter, very drinkable. So that nine and a half could really sneak up on you and kick you in the face. Oh, but I would definitely drink an entire pint of this, maybe at the end of the night. Guys, I have to admit to a little bit of subterfuge. This is Agrarian Ales Resplendent, which is a jalapeno sour. I've already had it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm turning it around. <laughs> this time you get to see 
what Che thinks of it. That's sour. Oh wow, that is incredible. This is amazing. It's got a lovely pepperness to it. It's not, it's not, it's not like um, real chili stuff. It's just nice peppery. Mm. Is there anything else very you? Fresh. Is there anything else you taste in there? It's very, it's very grassy. Uh, quite sour, very fresh tasting. It's lovely. Mm. <gasps> the contrasting flavors really make it. Excellent. I highly recommend it. Definitely one to look for because it also has lemon lime in it and lots of salt. This is Green Haze. This is Ninkasi's Fresh Hop. I've been trying a few other fresh hops and now I'm going to try it with my friend Amy. This is my favorite season. Fresh Hop here is my favorite season. Hops. <laughs> Here, you have some hops in your teeth. I don't know, I think it's nice and fresh. Got a salt, clean on the back of the palate at the end. It doesn't feel like it's going to kill me. Really? Oh my goodness, there's so much hop. I like it. Okay, I'm, I'm a hop I'm sorry. I'm a hop I just, I feel like. I feel like the fresh hop to be a little grassier, but yeah. this is super clear. Yeah. It is super clear. They definitely made a lot of good effort. This could be, it could be more clear or grassy notes. Like yeah. Really, I like how it starts out with that big hop thing, hop thing, and then I, I feel like it's not lingering in my mouth. So I like that. That's very true. That's very true. Mm. I think Amy likes it a little better than I do. But Amy's a hot pet. No, I say. <laughs> not everybody. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> so I guess this is this is a success for some people from Nintasi. This is agrarian ale verdant. It is supposedly saison like. So I'm looking for dry and farmhouse. Mm. I'm getting a lovely, lovely grassy farmhouse like aroma. Oh yeah, very nice. There's there are a lot of tastes in here. This actually reminds me of a harvest field. If I was walking through a freshly harvested field, this is what I would be smelling and tasting. It's grassy, it's fruity, it's a little, it's pretty dry, so it's not too sweet, it's, you know, it's not overwhelming, it's not too grainy. It's got lots and lots of complex flavors in there. Very nice. This is definitely a premier agrarian offering. Verdant is 5.6%, which is just perfect for a Saison-like ale.